Sure. I'm ready for that. Oh, cold coffee? No one wants yeah. cold coffee. Yeah. Uh, oh, unless know. it's iced coffee. Unless it's iced coffee. Well, I can't get up and go heat it up, can I? I need a microwave here. Well, you can do it during <laughs> a commercial break, okay? Can't do it <laughs> no. Now. Can't do it now. Imagine yourself tied down to this chair. I am. I am. I am on right. lock. I'm glad it's pretty comfy, though. <laughs> Uh, okay, it looks like the next map we're going to be playing on is Cactus Valley, which is a very huge map. Uh, it's a very spirally weird map, but it looks like the way that this is positioned, we are going to see Dark with getting a good scout out and being able to find his opponent quickly. So we're going to go ahead and get here on introductions. We do have spawning in the upper right-hand corner of the map. We're playing as the Orange Terran. We have Innovation. And his opponent is going to be none other than Eskitalcom T1's ace, question mark? Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think the question mark was a little savage. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's hard because these guys are all so good. That you just really can't say, like, one person is, like, the ace for the whole team. Well, actually, no, you can't. Because, like, you know, um, so, like, if you think of some teams where they had, like, one player who was always the ace, like... KT always had Flash, uh, Prime always had Marine King, things like that. But SKT yeah. was so, like, diverse, it was really hard to say, like, one person was just, like, the ace player of that team, you know? Yeah, definitely agreed. We do see both players opening up pretty much the same openings that we've seen in the last games. We do have the uh, drones already on the gas, so we probably will be seeing, you know, that early speedling action again. And uh, Dark just came in with the scout, so, you know, he's going to know where his opponent is, and so does Innovation because of this Overlord coming in from where it came in. So they both know where each other is at now, so this Reaper is going to be able to just go right in and do whatever he'd like. Yeah, this is actually pretty good for Innovation, considering the fact that they're so close. Innovation really loves when he is he when the, when they are close by air like this, instead of having to go all the way across the map diagonally to attack his opponent. When they're yeah. this close, Innovation likes to go for Hellions and then go for Raven follow up, like like he always does. But it, it works so well when you're so close because he can go for a drop follow up and deal a lot of damage. This is how he shut down Bjol in the GSL finals uh, last year. He did the exact same thing. Well, he didn't do the Raven thing because auto turrets weren't that good. That thing. <laughs> but but innovation knows how to play on this map. Like this is innovation's map. So considering mm -hmm. considering that Dark knows this, knows that innovation does really well on this map. Dark needs to respond properly to the situation. And and you know as a Zerg player, Novea, what do you do when you go into a map knowing that you've definitely lost against your opponent many times on this map? Try to switch it up and do something they completely wouldn't even expect. I like that. I, I would I would love to see maybe like a maybe like an eight link drop. Like he has Yeah, that would be good. Like it's actually the course. perfect map for that too. Uh maybe if he did some drops in the, the main base over there, there's a shadowy portion that he might not you know, innovation might not have been, been, uh, vision of. He might be able to elevator those links right in there. I would like to see that. That would be very awesome to see. An eight link drop would be beautiful because he has. Oh, actually, six links coming in here towards the natural now. Yeah, he's going to be able to stop the mining here, and the speed links just not finishing up. Time that very well, but the, the hellions here that are going to be able to. Oh, they did get into the main though, but you know these hellions are here, and they're going to clean that up perfectly. But he did get a really good scout out in the meantime. We do have a banshee in production already from innovation. So he definitely is going to be able to react accordingly for that. And he's going to be able to throw down the spore crawlers. So definitely those six links were not wasted. And he's actually oh. continuing up with this pressure here. Non-stop coming in with links. Actually not letting Innovation take any uh, Hellion pushes this time. He's like, I know you like Hellions on this map. I'm not letting you do that. I'm coming in with these speed links and I'm just going to keep up this pressure over and over again. You know, he's abusing the opening of the map and, you know, the way that it's not walled off quite yet. Okay, I really love what Dark is doing this game right now. He's just running his links around and dodging Innovation's line of sight so that he can get these links in before Innovation realizes what's going on. Mm -hmm. It just, it hurts. Innovation has lost seven workers right now, and that's not what he wants. He doesn't want to lose that many workers. No, Although, definitely to not. To be completely honest, he's still not that behind, considering they're very even in worker numbers, and Dark had to really cut off drone production to be able to produce that many links that quickly 
Definitely, that's very, very true. We do have the Cloak Banshee coming in now. It's actually in Cloak, so these queens aren't going to be able to really defend it, and they're just going to have to lure it over towards the Spine Crawler. We're probably going to see an Overseer come in any second because the layer is completed. We have some good transfuses going off, and the Overseer is here, so he's going to be able to, you know, deal with this Banshee accordingly. And so we do see Stim coming in here from Innovation instead of a Command Center follow-up and a, an armory on the way, so he's going to stick to this hmm. two-base pressure play for quite some time, and he's definitely going to go for that that hellbat pressure that we saw on uh, Belshire Vestige. Yeah, that just like the last game. Actually, is the, oh, do you see a Cyclones? Cyclones! Gonna add oh. some Cyclones into this mix, actually. He just started okay. producing. Yeah. This is this is really good. So he's got the hellbats for buffer, and then he's got Cyclones to take down Queens and Roaches. Yeah. And actually, this overseer, this overlord from Dark, though, he is able to get good vision. He has a really good positioning of that overseer, or the overlord there, so he's can, he can see ev all of the units that Innovation has at the moment. We do see a third CC coming down here from Innovation now, so now he is getting ready for that three-base economy, but, at, but since he is, he did invest into an armory and did invest into Cyclones, he needs to kind of move out and deal some damage. Because if he just stays back and tries to play passively, the dark is just going to drone up like crazy. And okay, never mind. I take that back. There's a Nidus network here. Oh man. That dark has a Nidus. We are gonna see Nidus action here. This is like I said, this map is really good for, you know, the shadowy portions of it, the the giant area that your main is at. So this is going to be amazing okay. to see. So remember what we talked about earlier about how innovation is so good on this map and Novea, you said Dark needs to do something a little unpredictable? Mm hmm This is it! This, this is, is it! it. This the is the unpredictable thing. Now, and go. even the night is going down while the Hellions are actually moved out. Like, oh, this could go either way right now. It's, um, we, you know, there are roaches at home. The Nidus is complete, and the Queens are filtering out, and the Hellions are being forced to go back home. He knows that this is not good. He has to get back. He doesn't have much at home to be able to defend against this. Oh, man, the Ravagers here as well. Oh. Okay, this is bad for innovation because all his production buildings are right here. And yeah. if he loses that tech lab, he doesn't get tanks anymore. And the army supplies is so big oh. for Dark. He's got 72 army supplies versus 38 of innovation. Yeah, I feel like we're going to see the GG called here soon. That was a complete turnaround from Dark coming in with that. The SCVs are even having to get pulled now. I mean, even if he can defend against this, he's pretty much lost almost all his workers here at the main. He lost all of them at the main. And, I mean, he's just going to be so low in supply. You know, we still have more units filtering out. The creep is being spread. And the GG is called. And Dark takes game number five. The Taking the about... lead in this score. Three to one. Three to two. Three to two, my bad, my bad. Uh, it's, yeah, three to two. Um, so the thing is, like, with Dark understanding that innovation was going to be vulnerable, went for that Nidus network play and got into the base, and innovation, if he had, if he had some Banshees, he should have brought him in and sniped down that Nidus network, because yes. the follow-up from Dark, he could have prevented, and that's what could have forced him to GG out. Definitely could have. He wasn't able to get the Nidus down, and that's what killed him, just letting more units come out. Yeah, had he just defended the first wave attack, but then killed the Nidus so that there was no second wave attack, mm -hmm. Innovation still had a chance to get back into the game, because he was on three CCs. It's true, but I mean, I do think he lost so many workers that it still was going to be pretty heavily in Dark's favor. Novea, I think we may have a video coming up. <gasps> You Is are right? correct. Right? I think so. Yeah, dude, there's some there's some video thing, right? What, what so. what's that about? What what is this gonna be? Huh. What Let's check it out. Be? Hey Harry Arthur, you posted on Reddit that it was your birthday, so guess what? From all of us here at Polygon Gaming, happy birthday. Enjoy the Dark vs. Innovation show match because it is our birthday gift to you. Hey, you Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday, Arthur. Yo, dude! Happy freaking birthday! Arthur, thank you so much for spending your day with us. You could have been doing anything, anything on your birthday, man, and you chose to spend it with us. Trust me, man. We really appreciate that. I hope it was everything you wanted it to be. But, there's still one last person 
who wants to tell you happy birthday. He couldn't make a video himself, but either way, he wanted us to let you know. Happy birthday. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.